Today, we're going to be looking at Quen 2.5 Coda, which is one of the latest models released by Alibaba Cloud, as you can see right here, just a few days ago. And it's an extremely powerful but free way to create content, to automate a lot of process, especially when it comes to SEO. There's so much cool stuff you can do with this. Now, if you want to get free access to this, there's two ways. Number one, you can actually use Quen 2.5 Coda inside artifacts on Hugging Face, completely free to access. And you can give it any problem. But the problem is you can't really go back and forth. So it's fun to create something like you say, okay, SEO calculator. And it will actually code that page for that. But the biggest issue with that is that you can't go back and forth and tweak it for actually so far. So you sort of get one prompt, one shot at it, and that's it. Now, I'm going to show you a much better way to get free access to this. And you can do this by getting a free software called Pinocchio, which basically allows you to run like terminal programs with one click. So you don't need to like install them manually or code directly insert inside terminal, etc. And then from there, just make sure you get open web UI inside Pinocchio. Let me show you what that looks like. Easier to show you than describe. So here we have Pinocchio, as you can see, you can actually run like bolts as well directly in here, which is really good for AI SEO and building websites. Just also want to make sure you have a llama and open web UI installed directly inside Pinocchio, right? So those three things, they're all free. They're not going to cost you a penny. And you can just download them in this discover tab over here and then just search for open web ui and chatbot llama and then install them in one click now once you've done all that you can start running open web ui all you do is you click inside pinocchio directly to open web ui and then if you click on open web ui the tab it's going to host it locally in a browser like you see right here now you can see i've got quen 2.5 coda directly installed if you want to install that just go to your name in the bottom left then go to settings, then go to admin panel, models, and you put in the name of the model you want to get, right? So you can pull, and what's pretty amazing about this is you can pull in loads of models and run them locally. So for example, we've got Quen 2.5 Coda, that was just updated a few days ago. You can install, for example, Llama 3.2, Gemma, Mistral, some of the best AI models you can get direct access to for free if you just go to your admin panel and install the model. So for example, if you want to install Quen 2.5 Coda, you would just grab that title, plug it in right there, hit download, and then it will pull it in as you can see, simple stuff. All right, so now we're going to go to Quen 2.5 and we can use this kind of like ChatGPT. The actual interface is super similar to ChatGPT and we'll kick off with something super basic. So if we say, for example, create a one page blog post, with an SEO calculator, we'll see what that pulls up. The other thing that I would say is quite often inside Claude, for example, when you're using Claude, they hit a limit even when you're on the premium plan. And so you run out of tokens and then you have to use the older versions. Inside Quen, which is essentially like a free version of Claude because you can get the artifacts feature, it can do very similar things, etc. It's really good for coding. You don't run into any of those limits, but additionally, you don't pay for it either, right? And if you're paying like, say, $25 a month for Claude, all of a sudden you can do this for free. You can save yourself $250 a year just by switching to this. So you've already paid for your time watching this video today. So now that we've got the content for the SEO calculator webpage, now we can say create the code and preview for an SEO calculator. And actually, Quen is surprisingly fast considering we're running it locally. I don't have any sort of fancy machine. It's just a MacBook Pro. And it actually runs really fast considering what we're doing here and the sort of level of stuff we're building. Now, what it's first going to do is, is going to kick off with the code, as you can see. So you actually get the code. Then it's going to add some styling. So it's creating the CSS. And you can see the preview on the right-hand side here. So if you actually want to test out this tool, you can just mess around on the right-hand side. And you can see here, how, as it's adding the CSS, the actual design for the SEO calculator is much better too. And so in literally just a couple of clicks, we've got the whole page for the SEO calculator. And additionally, we've got all the code as well. So if you want to preview it, not inside the interface of Open Web UI, if you want to store it offline, it tells you exactly how to do that. So you just save all three files, the HTML, the index.html, style CSS, and script.js in the same directory, and then open up the index.html in a web browser. Right? Now you might be thinking at this point, okay, how do I host it on my WordPress website? How do I take what we've got here and then directly embed it into an inner page inside my website. And it actually gives you the instructions. So if you're not sure how to do it, you can just step-by-step step follow the instructions it recommends. It even shows you how to create your own plugin directory on WordPress. But either way, it's pretty easy if you just follow the instructions. And if you get stuck or you have to troubleshoot, just take a screenshot of where you get stuck. 
and then ask Quen how to fix it. Now, if we start up a new chat here, we can actually build our own AI SEO content writers as well. So for example, I've got actually, I've actually got a whole series of prompts, which I'll link to at the end of this video. Uh, so what we can actually do is create an SEO article writer using this prompt and give it instructions on exactly how to create the content. And then all the user needs to do, if they want to start using this tool, is plug in the API key. So let's grab that content right here. We'll go into Quinn. We'll hit enter like so. And one of the other reasons that we're using Quinn is not just because it's free, not just because you can host it locally, not just because you can get unlimited free tokens, and not just because it's actually pretty good, but also it beats GPT-40 and Claude in many of the coding benchmarks. So as an example of that, here you can see the details on Quen 2.5 Coda. But if we look, for example, at the benchmarks here versus GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet, you can see that for many of the benchmarks, Quen 2.5 is actually beaten. So you can see, for example, it scores 92.7 on human evaluation, whereas GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 score 92.1 and 92.1. Now, these benchmarks, you have to be aware that sometimes they can be a little bit biased because obviously, as you can imagine, but you can see how simple this is. Also inside your settings. So if you click on the right hand side, then click on settings over here, you can actually set up voice response. It looks like I haven't tested that yet. And you can also allow memory. So for example, if you're using this back and forth, etc., then you can personalize everything by adding memories so that it remembers what you've talked about directly with open web UI. You can also add your own API keys here. So for example, you, it's got an option for open AI. API key. And additionally, if we go to settings and then web search, it looks like we can actually enable web search. And then from here, you can select whatever web search you want to use. So for example, if you use Google PSE, you can plug in your API key, and then you can probably link it to the internet so that you can actually use this for like content outline generation and stuff like that. I haven't tested it out, but that looks like something really cool you could use too. Now, what we can also do kind of like ball, you can take a prompt like this. So for website creation, go into Quen 2.5 again, and then plug in this prompt and basically generate your whole website. As you can see, it's planning out the title, the meta title, etc. And then from there, we can generate a preview inside the artifacts. One thing to note here is like, if you're waiting for a pre preview, it seem, seems like you have to actually ask for a preview inside the prompt before it generates it, right? It's not like Claude where it just goes off and creates it automatically. Now let's compare them side by side. So what I've actually done is use the paid version of Claude 3.5 Sonnet with exactly the same prompt, Quen 2.5 Coda. And then from there, we'll see which one creates the best version. If you're wondering, okay, does this actually work? Here's an example of a website I built previously using the same sort of method. And if you're wondering, okay, does it actually rank? Here's an example of a website we created previously that is ranking for its target keywords, like you see right down here. So you can actually see inside Claude, it's, it's come back to me and said, Claude's response was limited as it hit the maximum length at the allowed time. So it wouldn't let me do its magic, even though it's a paid tool, it still has a limit, which is crazy because inside Quen, you don't seem to have a token limit in terms of how much you can use, how much you can create, etc. And now you can see it's actually generated the preview. So I actually got a lot further than Claude did. And additionally, it still has to create the CSS, right? It's, it's still going to go off and code the CSS first, but you can see here it's building out the whole website step by step. Now, just to save a bit of time, I don't want it to create the whole website. I just want to show you some previews of what you could do. So I'm going to stop that for now. And then I'm going to say, just create the CSS for a beautifully designed homepage for this website. I can hear my laptop like being pushed to its limits right now. So the fan has just come on. So just something to be aware of is if you run this locally, just be careful that it does probably use a lot of memory and a lot of power. Actually, when you're building out these sort of websites, for example, this was built with Bolt using their builder. When you build out these sort of sites, like they run really, really fast. So you can see the loading times pretty good compared to say like WordPress, where, you know, I can slow down a little bit, can have a lot of clunky code. And usually the page speed insights on say a website like WordPress, not that great. So for example, if we run that website that was built with Bolt using a similar sort of prompt, you can see here that it performs really well in terms of speed metrics, performance, accessibility, best practices in SEO. Whereas if that was on WordPress, I can almost guarantee it's going to be pretty bad. So for example, if we go onto a WordPress website, like you can see right here, hit analyze, and we'll compare the metrics. You can see that it actually fails on Core Web Vitals on the mobile version and the desktop version. Because, and one of the reasons for that is because the code is just not that clean. And now if we open up the preview with the CSS ready, you can see the website 
kind of has a basic outline. It's not that impressive in terms of the design. Like I would still go back and forth with Quinn a lot more in terms of coding it, but it certainly did a much better job than Claude. It's also super easy and simple to use. And additionally, you can go back and forth really easily with Quen, right? In terms of the preview, in terms of the colors you use or any sort of content that you want to change. And then once you're happy with it, just get the instructions from Quen on how to host it and upload it, etc. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to the Hugging Face link, GitHub, if you want to get access to all the prompts I've talked about today, including how to automate a website, like you can see right here, you've got all the prompts for doing that, all the SPs, etc. And additionally, 200 chat GPT AI SEO prompts for content creation and everything else you can ever imagine when it comes to getting results with SEO. So if you want to get access to all of that completely for free, I'll plug it inside my free SEO course, link in the comments description. And if we skip past the dozens of useful tutorials, SPs and templates, and then we shall scroll down to free SEO tools. And we'll call this Quen plus Open Web UI. So just log into the free SEO course, go to free SEO tools, link in the comments description, and then go to Quen and Open Web UI. And you can find the video notes right there. Additionally, if you want to get a free SEO strategy session that shows you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month, and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book that in link in the comments description. On this free link building acceleration session, we'll show you how to grow your business because we'll give you a free SEO domination plan custom tailored to your website. You'll discover the secrets of SEO link building and we'll answer any questions you have one to one. Additionally, you'll learn the best link building strategies for your website, plus how to quickly outrank your competitors in link building, how to 10 SEO traffic based on what's working for us. Feel free to book that in. Link in the comments description. Cheers. Bye bye.